is up everybody today i'm going to show you my favorite rig and bait to use when targeting kingfish from the surf uh, i got the beautiful atlantic ocean behind me real quick today all i'm going to be using if i could get a hold of it is a high low rig it's about 20 pound test with size 8 hooks um gamagatsu big key with these uh, rigs, you want to make sure that you only put enough bait to fill the hook, like so. Any more than that, they'll rip it off. Um, I'm going to start out with a one ounce pyramid sinker. Typically, I like the pyramid sinkers because they dig into the mud, or I'm sorry, the sand, and kind of hold your bait still. Um, typically, I use twos and threes, but I always start light. If I can't hold bottom, then I move up. You always want to start light and work your way up in my opinion it uh will help with feeling the bites but um let's uh cast this out see what's biting so the best thing i ever learned doing surf fishing was finding the right place to cast if you're looking at the waves i literally just want to cast this right where those first set of breakers are that's maybe i don't know 20 yards or less biggest thing I've learned from doing this is most of those fish are hanging in between that trough um, just kind of perusing behind those broken waves and just kind of feeding on what gets you know sifted over with the sand there we go first fish of the day baby felt like a kingfish hit I'm not gonna lie what do we got yep we got ourselves a gulf kingfish how you could tell they got that little black spot on the tail oh man that one hit instantly might be another king yeah a little bit bigger now they are good eating but Unfortunately, today we're not keeping any, so these guys all get to live another day. Oh, got him. Damn. Got him. Damn, that one was close in. Ugh, another little white. Oh, damn, that was instant. That literally hit the water and had him. That one's got, look at that now. That guy's got some parasites on, that's interesting. See those on the bottom of them? Huh. All right, man, so we are baiting up the sabiki rig, just putting little pieces of uh, shrimp on all four hooks. Um, why I like using this rig, you know, opposed to a high-low rig, is you cover a little bit more ground. High low rig typically consists of two hooks and you're only really covering about maybe a foot of space. With the rig like this, covering close to three and a half, almost four feet of you know depth. Now Grant, when you're surf fishing with a you know shorter rod like I am today, you know the scope is a little bit more uh, like close to the bottom, but we're gonna make it work with this rod. There we go. First fish on the Sabiki rig. Gulf Kingfish. 
beauty of these rigs, man, covers a lot of ground. Like that was caught on the top hook of a, you know, three and a half foot blue rig. Oh, got him. That one was close in, man. See, and that one was on the top hook again. Crazy. Now the same concept applies from our last trip where we were fishing with a high-low rig. You're just trying to cast it right past that first set of breakers. Most of the fish are a little bit closer in than you would think. Um, one of the big things that I've never fished a spot before, on occasion I will come with a snorkel and just kind of swim out, you know, 50 yards and kind of look at the bottom and see where the fish are congregating. And when you have clear water like we do, you'll, you'll be able to see where they usually sit. And it's kind of interesting to see them hide behind the waves and kind of move in when the wave breaks, looking for, you know, little crabs, sand fleas, little like mollusks to feed on in that little uh, crest zone, I guess you'd call it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was quick. I mean, look, that, that was not very far out, but that's where they seem to be tent to hold. And this is a Gulf Kingfish, just because you can tell by the tail. Oh, there we go. One right in front of the sandbar. And sometimes I'll find them in those little flats that are right ahead of um, that little trough. It's one of those, you know, kind of search and explore. If you're not catching them, look at them go. If you're not catching them where you're casting, you're either not in the right spot or you're not using the right bait. 